So, I think, let me first by saying this, I think the Bible is good. I think there's a lot of good things that come out of it. I think that it brings a lot of more, a lot of morals to people. It gives people a purpose to, 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 to be alive, to keep moving forward. However, my problem with Christians, and I, and I don't deny, I don't deny Jesus, I don't deny the Bible is this outright fake. I don't deny that. But my mind is open and I can't ignore things like scientists saying that the earth is 6,000, not 6,000, 65 million years old and we have dinosaur fossils and 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 deny evolution i'm just supposed to deny that and and and, and i'm being told that the earth is basically 6000 years old i mean the bible says it took 7 days for god to create everything right and then man was created so I forget exactly but not too soon after all that man was created so for me to just be like okay none of that none of that exists I'm just gonna ignore that I'm gonna ignore other phenomenons like possible UFOs or paranormal types of things I'm going to ignore that there was uh, Horus and um, who was born on December 25th through a virgin and there was a bunch of other mystical figures that if you look in history they did the same and I and, and I'm supposed to ignore these these Christian pastors who are triple digit millionaires I'm just supposed to ignore that you know it, if I I'm not atheist. I'm not agnostic. My mind is open to different possibilities. Now, if I die right now and and Christianity is real or the Bible or Jesus, you know, all that. And I go and meet Jesus. And Jesus says, you didn't submit to me. You're a sinner, which I have been a very bad sinner in my life. But I've also done a lot of good things, so he's just going to ignore the good things because of jealousy and, you know, any, anybody who, who, who wants to have people bow down to him is, I mean, pretty... Uh, it, Am I not supposed to say this? Am I supposed to ignore egotistical? Am I supposed to ignore that? Am I, you know, Jesus, God's supposed to be perfect, but then why do I see these type of qualities? You know, why, why is it so important for me to submit without, without seeing any type of evidence other than a book, other than a book, and I'm supposed to blind, blindly believe. So, I'm supposed to ignore things and not not be not not be critical, and, and not not be not be a critical thinker. Anyway, so so God decides, you know what? You didn't serve me. We're going to hell. It's not like God showed up at some point in my life, you know, 
at that point when I was a teenager, Jesus was like showed up, I feel that warm warmthness, that calmness, and and showed that Jesus that I I have to follow him. It's not like something like that happened. Personal experience. You know, why don't, why, why? Why don't we get that personal experience? You know, if I was a God, if I was Jesus, I would show up at some point when, 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 when people are old enough to think for themselves, I would show up and my presence would be known that, yes, you need to follow me. Yes, I'm your God. But we get nothing. And, and, and there's tribes out there. There's been a Christian that tried to try to show God to these people. And these people ended up killing them. To these, these people don't know about God. So what happens to them? Because they're completely ignorant. Uh, apparently, Christians say that everybody on earth is supposed to know about Jesus at some point. Uh, how are these people going to know about it? They're not. So, so God's going to be like, you didn't serve me. I'm going to let this guy slide who, who harmed little children in a, in a disgusting way. And he murdered people because at the end of his life, on his deathbed, he, he, he asked for forgiveness. And a person that, you know, might have indulged in alcohol or... Maybe they maybe they indulge, indulge in their their outer on their body like they oh I, I had lustful thoughts you know obviously there's more sins but nothing like murdering or harming little kids that person gets to go to hell for eternity without without even a chance to redeem themselves that's a loving God you're 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 gonna sit there and tell me that's a loving God. No chance to redeem yourself. I'm supposed to blindly believe based off the book, based off a religion that has had many wars based off the religion. This religion has so many other little religions and spinoffs. You got Catholic, Christian, non-dominational, you got Presbyterian, Baptist. You got all these different ones. Not just one, all these different ones. And I'm supposed to sit here with a critical mind and sit here and be like, no, I'm going to ignore all these facts. I'm going to, I'm just going to ignore them. I'm going to ignore the, these flaws, these holes. I'm just going to ignore them. And I'm not saying that it's, it's the Bible isn't good. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I just think that I think that Christians try to try to use fear with people. That's what I think. I think they try to use fear because they interpret different things out of the Bible. See what happens with Christians is they pick and choose what they want. That's what they do, and and they sit here. And listen, it's human nature to be judgmental. But these people are highly judgmental of other people's sins when they sin themselves. You know, there's no self-awareness with these people. And they can be some vicious people. So, that's my problem with them. You know... I'm sorry if I have an open mind. I'm sorry if I'm not just going to be naive to things and just ignore facts. And there's plenty of other things that you can think of that don't make sense. You know, there's nowhere in the Bible that says Jesus was born on December 25th. And why is there huge blocks of Jesus not, of his life not in the Bible? There's huge blocks of it not in there. So, I don't hate people who believe in Jesus at all. 
and I understand why that they do, why they believe what they believe, and I think that I think it's a good thing. I think that positive prayer is good, whatever you're praying to, and I think that there, if I had to, if I had to make an assessment, I lean more towards there be some type of creator, but I don't understand. I don't understand. You know how much... This is the problem. You know how much we don't know about our own earth? We don't know about the history? When you look at the pyramids, when you look at the, the Stonehenge, it, head, whatever. When you look at these weird anomalies that have happened, and I'm just supposed to ignore that, that type of stuff... The possibilities of different dimensions, of parallel dimensions, and things of that nature. Positive and negative energy. I'm just supposed to believe that humans were the only ones that God ever created. There's no other intelligent life out there, or any other dimension. I'm just supposed to believe that. And... I'm going to be on fire if I don't for, for eternity? Why, I, why would a loving God do that? Why would, a, why would a loving God who loves me so much because I'm... I, he's not going to make his presence shown in my life or anybody else and I, I don't have any proof and I'm just supposed to believe. I'm not trying to deter anybody else from, from what their faith is. I'm not trying to do that. My whole point is, is, is I'm a critical thinker. And you believe what you want to believe. Me? Man, I'm on the fence. Because I know there's so much that we don't know about ourselves, about our history, about our world. This place is very mysterious and we don't even we don't even understand how mysterious this place is we think we do but we really don't we don't even know where we came from we don't even we really don't even know how the universe was created you got the big bang there you got you got uh, people who believe that it came from a creator you look at all these different religions too you know if I was if I was the ultimate God, there would only be one religion. Look at all these different religions. Why is there all these different religions? How, how, how can a person, how can a loving God send me to hell forever when I'm, when I'm confused? How? So if I'm Muslim, I go to hell. If I'm Hindu, I go to hell. If I'm Anything but Christian, I go to hell. I don't know, man. People could probably just tear this apart, and, and that's fine. That's cool. But I just, there's, there's just something off about how people interpret the Bible. I don't know. I think, honestly, this is, this is my opinion on it, right? This is, this is make it real quick I think what happened was religion is a way especially the Romans is a way to control people to give them some type of moral morality morals and to keep people in line to keep people civil that's what I think If you look at, I, I don't know the details, but there's some things that, from what I hear, that the Romans took out of the pagan religion, like Christmas and things like that, and put it in the Bible. And who's to say that the Bible, the original Bible that got translated into the King, Ger King James Version into English was inter interpreted properly anyway. 
you know, like, this is somebody else's interpretation. And I'm not saying it's false. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just... It, there's just there's just giant holes in what Christians tell me. 